So today we're going to change a lot of things on this. Make a better steering, spring rate change, and something else. So as we all know, this is a very good car, but it sags a little on the back and we're going to change that. So we're going to put some big springs on there. It's this number. These are for the back, the 6.2, and these are for the front. Pretty easy to change these. This is the difference, much stiffer than this one. Not going to change the oil and I'm going to let this sit on there so we can see what the difference is. Yeah, this is going to be a lot better. And these are for the back. A little later. So I took these out in the front and these out in the rear. And it sits a little bit lower, not that much, but the lid is not on here and there's still not no battery in there. So I think it's going to be okay when everything's on there. Now we're going to get this aluminum stuff in there. It's from AliExpress, link down below, of course. Yeah, there's some bearings on there and I don't think there that there are bearings inside so so normally I can get this thing out now like that and yes there are bearings inside this looks a lot better and I think it's going to steer a lot better too so we're going to get this instead of this these things you can replace them too if they are worn out but first we're going to do this and afterwards maybe when they are worn out I'm going to replace these look how nice and shiny these things are there's a little catch on this thing here and I'll show you in a minute the difference is they're a lot sturdier and you have to tread lock this don't forget that. Even the balls are not from plastic. This is the way. So these things have to go between this, but it doesn't fit. So we have to grind a little off here to let it fit. Two very boring minutes later. Oh yeah, it fits now. See? When you mount this up, put the copper bushing the top like this. Otherwise, this thing, the top here, is going to touch the center drive shaft. So don't turn your screws too hard. Let them sit a little loose because you did tread lock on there. So when it's cured, this movement has to be like that. Otherwise, you're going to squish it and there's no movement. So when you push this down, it's clearing everything. I'm going to put screw in here. Then I'm going to put the dry shaft in there so we can see if it touches or not. And it doesn't touch anything. When you have to replace this, it's easier to take the whole lot out. So I clean the screws. Like that. Replace this thing here. It's the same length so we don't have to recalibrate the servo. Side side plastic so you don't have to put any lock right on there. Get some debris out of there. Rocks. Mount everything back up. So this is replaced. Now we need this screw to get in there. And yes, we need to do some lock side on there. This is the way. That's off the ground. And that's on the ground. Steering is more direct. Now we're going to use these programmer kits. Now let's get the fan out. Look where the minus is. It's version 2. I think it's okay. You don't have to upgrade it because it doesn't say that you have to upgrade it. Connecting ESC. It's punch level 5. 50% is standard. I'm going to up it a little bit. Running mode forward reverse brake motor rotate is okay. BSC voltage 6 volt. We're going to change that. So we're going to edit that to 7.4. Then you push save. Now we have more 7.4 on the servo. Don't forget to put your fan back on. And now for the last modification. It's not about the car. It's about the body. These things over here. Yeah, they tend to rip. I'm going to put this on the sides here like that. See, I'm going to put some glue in there and then mount it up like this. Mon Yeah, I can already see that it tries to tumble more. So I think we have to, yep. We definitely need to get some spacers out. It drives great, man. It drives a lot better. But like I already said, the spacers, maybe one more or one top.
Yeah, the steering is much more direct. Definitely an, up an upgrade. Runs so smooth. It soaks up all the bumps. Yeah. That's not good for the lid. That was a nice one. Whoa. <laughs> Barrel roll. So this dar isn't geared up or anything, but this is already very hot and it's just a 4S battery. I think we have to put more cooling on this thing because like you all know, it's enclosed here, so. Yeah, and guys, I don't drive with AVC. I never did, I never will. That's not so good for the body. Ooh, that was a side hit. Let's go. Let's send it, huh? That was a nice one. Catch you later, guys.